Well, your next comedian came all the way from prison. I gave it up for Miss uh, Ellie Rodriguez. How's it going? How's it going? You guys doing good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. It's a long drive here from Fresno. Hey, we're in the Pasadena area, so that's like a, a four-hour drive, you know. Being Mexican, I'm not used to driving that much. You know, I'm used to working at the farm, you know, where the, you know, the picking grapes and stuff like that. But. <laughs> um, if you guys don't know what Fresno is, um, Fresno is that place in the Lion King where Mufasa said, don't go there. <laughs> I grew up in the Central Valley, that's where we call it natives. Um, it's really fun growing up in the Central Valley because you get to learn things. Like, when I grew up in the Central Valley, I learned that um, you can get cardio besides being at the gym. You know, when, you, when I was going to school, I'd always get chased by dogs. <laughs> you get cardio too, getting chased by the gang members. You learn new routes to school. <laughs> I, uh, in the Central Valley, it's, um, it's really, it, it's weird because like I lived in this, like in, like in LA, you guys have Compton. In our area, we have something called Kelowa, which is a really bad part of town. But my parents said it was cheap, that's where we lived. And they wanted me to get out of that area because it, cause if when you're in that area, you either become a gang member or you become like something, you know, you either be dead or a gang member, one of the two. There's no, no, no real options. Um, so they would always tell me, study, study, study. So I studied all the time, three hours a day, until my head hit that book. One day, I brought home a D. My parents were Hispanic. She was like, you brought home a D, get your ass upstairs and study. I'm like, what? I'm like, it's a D, it's passing. My dad's like, oh yeah, that's right, it's passing. Fuck you, Antonio Quinciera. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, like I said, I graduated, I did the whole thing. I went to a university, I got my degree, and it was really good. But the thing is, in college, you party a lot. You party a lot. And I experimented a lot in college. It was really fun because I got to experiment with alcohol. And one thing I learned from alcohol, if you drink a lot of it, you don't remember the shit. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, when you drink a lot of alcohol too, like I said, you don't remember, sh you don't remember stuff. You tend to forget where you live. <laughs> I forgot where I lived. Luckily though, I grew up in an age, not like my parents, which is like, you know, the 70s and 80s, you know. They're, they're, I have technology, I'm, I'm awesome. I can go to Google, say Google, Take me home. I just tap home on the GPS, and it guides me home. Apparently, technology has a sense of humor. I didn't know this. Technology has a sense of humor, because when I did, I said, take me home. I drove myself home. I shouldn't have, because I was drunk, but I drove myself home all the way to Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> because apparently, the place you most visit is your home, and the place that... <laughs> Dating is weird. Um, one of your uh, other comedians earlier was talking about dating on Tinder, which is really uh, it's interesting. Um, I didn't know this because, like, when you're single, you, you think, oh, there's people tell you all the time, there's plenty of fish in the sea. You can find anyone. Um, I, I don't know if anyone else knew this, but Tinder has an end. You swipe and swipe, it comes to an end at one point. <laughs> I didn't know you that. I, I, I was like surprised. I was like, shit. <laughs> Not only am I condescending, I'm like, I'm single now forever, because like, I can't find no one else. <laughs> one night, I got really drunk because I was just so depressed. I was like, wow, I swiped on so many people. What do I do? I was just like, I'm smart. I'm a techie person. I was like, it goes by GPS. I got in my car, went around the block. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I have a sister. She's really fun to go out with. Um, my sister, like, she's fun to go out with, but she was also one of those people who, when she gets drunk, she likes to tell you what to do, or like to tell you about what she had, like, stories she does, or irrational fears. And one of my sister's irrational fears is, if she drinks too much water, she would get an STD. <laughs> and I tell her, what? I'm not even drunk, and I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, I'm gonna get an STD because I'm gonna drink a lot of water and eventually I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom somewhere strange or somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna touch a toilet so you get an STD. <laughs> and I told her, Melissa, that's not how it works. You're gonna get an STD because you're an H2O. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I started working for customer service for uh, Verizon Wireless. It's a very interesting company to work for because all day I'm telling people, 
no, I'm not going to refund you your $15 because you went over one gigabyte of data. That's my job. I have to refute you. you. You call me and say, hey, I only went over one megabyte. Too bad. You're going to charge the $15. <laughs> and people always complain that we have horrible customer service at Verizon. And I go, yeah, because people are yelling at us all the time telling me to go fucking kill myself. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I'm giving you shitty customer service because not only am I haggling with you about your account, I'm on the opposite line with the suicide hotline, people. <laughs> 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 it's funny um like how can i put it like dating is weird like i said t like on tinder i finally found someone i matched up with it was weird like i said i i, I drove around the block like i went three miles out <laughs> and i finally matched with someone and he said i'm gonna treat you like a princess i'm gonna take you out to dinner show you a movie i was excited his version of taking me out was Taco Bell. <laughs> His version of a movie was logging into the Wi-Fi at Taco Bell and showing me the Avengers. I don't know if you guys know what uh, the fire sauce is at Taco Bell, but he did not get a happy ending. <laughs> All right, guys, my name is Ellie Rodriguez. You guys have a great night. Thank you.